The next oxygen device is called the Venturi mask. This works off the Venturi Bernoulli principle of a jet of gas going through a small orifice causing a decreased pressure on the walls. In brief, if you see this port here, the port's there, here's the jet going through. You can see it creates a small orifice. And if you look, the different size oxygens have different size ports. Okay, what do you need to know about this, how to use it? Just to give you some historical background, this, the jet goes through, causes negative pressure in here, which then sucks room air into these holes, into these ports, which will then dilute the 100% oxygen that's coming from the wall down to the exact FiO2. This one... is hard to read. It actually says 28% at 6 liters per minute. This one is 31% at 8 liters per minute. You do not have to memorize these. Here's an easy one to read one. 35% at 12 liters per minute. <clears throat> Each color is a different level of oxygen. Now I have two different styles here because in the hospital you may see two different styles. This one goes from the white will go from 30 percent up to 40 percent all the way up to 55. How you do that is put the arrow on the oxygen that you wish to wish it to be on and you can see the port changes. But if you need a lower oxygen, like on this one, it goes down to 24, you pull this off and put it on here. 4 liters, 31%. 3 liters, 28. 2 liters, 24. And that's, that, that is how that one works. As you get... Right there. As you get higher or lower oxygen, the port gets bigger. Okay, now you can't just have the patient sitting around on the port. What comes in it is you have a mask, six inch piece of corrugated tubing, and your ports and regular oxygen tubing. You take this, put it in there, put the mask on. And it looks like this. For lab checkoffs, you then put the aerosol collar on. In the hospital, you will not see this that much. The true usage of that aerosol collar is in case you want to deliver humidified air. You can hook the um, corrugated tubing. We'll go over that on humidification chapter. But then blow in humidif humidified oxygen or humidified air into here to give the patient some extra humidity. I utilize this so the patient's arms and bed sheets do not cover your entrainment ports, thusly giving the patient a higher oxygen delivery than needed. And then here, you take your oxygen tubing, hook it to this end, and the other end would get hooked to your flow meter. Okay, with the other ports, if you want to set up a, let's do the green, because it's easier to read, 35% Venturi mask. This will go in here. This will go in here. Those go together, and then this end will get hooked to the flow meter at 12 liters per minute. That is your Venturi mask. This is called a high flow system. High flow systems are designed to meet or exceed 
the patient's inspiratory flow demands. Now, with the nasal cannula, if you were delivering oxygen to someone and they were on 24%, that is this. But <clears throat> considering the oxygen is a low, the nasal cannula is a low flow device, the patient may or may not get, if they're on two liters, they may or may not get the 28% oxygen. With this one, if a patient goes to Kipnik and they're on two liters, you can deliver the yellow, which is, you can't, hard to see here, but it is a 28%. You put it at six liters per minute. So you change this out to a 28% trait collar, or I'm sorry, 28% Venturi mask. And the patient is guaranteed to get 28% because this is a high flow device. The high flow device meets or exceeds the patient's inspiratory demand. And therefore, the patient will be guaranteed to get 28%, whereas with a low flow system, it depends upon the patient's respiratory pattern. That is the Venturi mask high flow oxygen system.